This video will cover how to add a custom field and how to place that custom field onto your page layout. So first I'm going to go into the settings area of the software and then I'm going to go into the events area and if you scroll down you're going to notice there's a section called custom fields and page layout. You can add custom fields and control page layouts for your master event page, for your event details page, as well as for your function detail page. Let's go ahead and use the event page as our sample. First I'll add a custom field and then I'll add that custom field to the page layout. So I'm going to go here into manage event custom fields. You'll see we have a number here of custom fields as well as standard fields are located here. I'm going to go ahead and add a brand new field. I'll click new. Up at the top I'm going to select what type of a field is this going to be. On my example let's go with a pick list. This is going to be a pick list field. The label, what's the field name going to be? I'm just going to pretend this is going to be repeat client. I'm going to create a pick list where my representatives can enter in yes or no if this client is repeat or not. So it'll display on my page. To the right hand side I have some further options here. Locked means that it cannot be removed from the page layout unless you have the security to remove that from the page layout. Required means that it's going to show up on my event page with a red vertical bar to the left, meaning that it's a required field prior to leaving the page. Let's say that it is. I'm going to make my field required. Available in the life cycle. Does this field need to be added to a life cycle step to be filled out or verified at that time? Certainly an option if that assists you. Down at the bottom we have help text, kind of like our hover bubble. Do I need a help bubble to offer information on this field or about the format that I want the field to be in? I'll just enter a question here. As a client, add an event with us before, just to help people when they're filling out this field. Then I'm going to simply save it. I've got my field in there. I'm going to click Done. And now I want to add this field to the page layout. So all I've done so far is added it as a custom field. To add it to my page layout, or to edit my page layout in any way, I can go to Manage Event Page Layout. And when I click this, all of the available fields, including the custom field we just added, are available here to the left. The current page layout is located over here to the right. I can certainly drag and drop my fields in a different order and I can add fields from the left to the right. So I'm going to scroll down and find our new custom field that I added. I believe it was called repeat client. I'm going to drag that onto my page just by dragging it from the left side to the right side. I'll put that up here. So it's now on my page. Again, I can drag that in any order. Maybe I want that over here on the right hand side. Once that's on my page, I'll go ahead and save that. And then let's take a look at what that looks like. So I'm going to jump into an event real quick. And on my event details page, my new repeat client custom field has been added to my event page layout. I'll edit this event so that we can see how that field might be filled out. I've got the red vertical bar because I made it required. As I click the drop down list, I made it a pick list. It could have been a text field or some other type of field, but I made it a pick list here. And I'm going to go ahead and select from that option there and then click save. So that's as simple as it is to add a custom field and to add it to this page layout. Again, to reiterate, that was back in settings under the events section. And we're down here in custom fields and page layout. We can add custom fields to the master event page, events page, and function pages. And we can also control those page layouts by dragging fields from the left to the right and dragging those applicable fields up and down into the right order. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching.